into the abyss. Starting off. Follow the river Lum near Edgeville until you reach the major summer. If you want to talk, this isn't the place for it. Meet me in Varok's Chaos Temple by the Rune Shop, unless you're here to buy something. Alright, I'll go. Ah, you again. The wilderness is hardly the appropriate place for a conversation now, was it? What was it you wanted? Uh, I didn't really want anything. So why did you approach me? I was just wondering what you were doing. I was conducting business. What business? I sell runes. In the wilderness? Why? Well, I can't go doing it in the middle of Varok, can I? In case you had noticed, I'm a servant of Zamarok. The Saradominists have made sure that people like me are not welcome in these parts. Where'd you get your runes from? Well, we craft them, of course. We? My associates and I. Despite the best attempts at the Saradomis, there's still more of us around than they'd like to think. I can't imagine they like you crafting runes much. Do they not try to stop you? Ha! I'm sure they'd love to. But we have methods of rune crafting that they can only dream of. Care to share? Why would I? You are not a member of our institute. How do I know you won't just go in and share all your secrets with those Saladominist fools in the Order of Wizards? Maybe I could make it worth your while? How? What do you have to offer? What is it you want? Until recently, our rune crafting secrets allowed us to produce runes at a far superior rate compared to the inept Order of Wizards. But something has changed. From what we can gather, they've somehow rediscovered how to access the lost rune essence mine. Ah, well I know all about that. I was actually the one to help them do it. You did what? You helped the Order of Wizards? Uh... Yeah, let's get this one. I did it so that I could steal their secrets. You did? Perhaps I underestimated you. Alright. If you help us access the rune essence mine, we will share our rune crafting secrets with you in return. Deal. Good. Now all I need from you is the spell that will teleport me to the rune essence mine. I actually don't know that spell. What? Then how do you get there? Oh, the people who do know the spell just teleport me there directly. 
Hmm, I see. That makes this slightly more complex. But no matter, you can still help us. How? I'll give you a scrying orb with a standard cipher spell cast upon it. The orb will absorb mystical energies that it is exposed to. If you teleport to the Rune Essence Mine from there, three different locations, the orb will absorb the energies of the spell and allow us to reverse engineer the magic behind it. Do you know of three different people who can teleport you there? Maybe. Well, if not, I'm sure one of those fools in the Order of the Wizards can tell you. Now, here's the orb. Hands me the orb. The orb is odd. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Travel to Rune Essence Mines. Three of five. Aubrey and Varrock. Tower next, I guess. Archmage said. You again. Have you managed to use that scrying orb to obtain the information I need? Here you go. You hand the orb to the Mage of Zamor. Right, let's take a look at this orb. Yes, this will do nicely. Once again, the Zamorok Magical Institute has overcome the Order of Wizards. You have done well. Now time for us to uphold our end of the bargain. Another spelling mistake there. The reason we are able to craft so many runes is because we do not visit the runic altars in the traditional way. Instead, we have found a way to teleport to them directly. How? By another plane known as the Abyss. It is a complex place that cannot be easily explained, but I will share our research notes with you so you may better understand it. So I can use the Abyss? Yes. Visit me in the wilderness whenever you wish to be teleported there. Just be careful, for it is a dangerous place. Still, I'm sure you'll agree that the risk is worth the reward. How is it dangerous? There are creatures there that will hunt and attack any visitors on sight. The magic we use for teleporting there can also be a bit... unstable. What do you mean? Just don't expect to be using any prayers in there. Anyway, you may also have this pouch as well. I'm sure you will find it useful. Now we're done here. Major Zangor hands you a book and a pouch. I'd better be all. Now craft fire runes and will now receive two mind runes from each essence. And total level 1450. Let's read the book. Despite having finally gained access to the strange dimension known as the Abyss, also referred to as Abyssal Space or the Abyssal Plane, we have found the area to still be something of an enigma. Although we have long had knowledge of the Abyss and the role it plays in teleportation magic, it was only recently that we finally discovered a way to enter the strange realm. The discovery came by complete chance when a routine teleportation experiment seemingly went wrong. We are still not sure as to what exactly caused this teleportation failure, but the ability to finally access the abyss led to a flurry of research from the Zamorokian Magical Institute, henceforth known within this document as ZMI. The results of our research so far are detailed in this document. Abyssal Teleportation 
While often referred to as a such, the abyss is not a plane in the traditional sense, such as Xanaris or Frenaskre. Uh, the abyss seems to be a strange dimension that sits between all of the planes. In some ways, the abyss acts as glue that holds all planes together, yet keeps them separate, if you will. Because of this, the abyss exists at the fringe of reality, meaning that it does not conform to the same guidelines of space and time observed on Gilanor, or indeed on other planes. A clear example of the unique nature of the abyss is that you may enter it and then leave it from an identical spot, yet reappear many hundreds of miles from your entry point. Similarly, you can enter the abyss and spend hours there, while only moments have passed back on Gilanor. It is thanks to the above phenomena that the abyss is key to teleportation magic. In fact, all teleportation that we know of uses the abyss to make the passing of great distances occur in a very short space of time, at least from our perception. During a teleport, what is actually happening is that the spellcaster is entering the abyss and then immediately leaving again. Certain values as to the speed and direction are taken care of during the spellcasting. This allows some degree of precision in these teleports. While highly useful, the extensive use of the abyss for teleportation is something to be cautious of. We observe that the barriers between Gilanor and the Abyss are seemingly becoming weaker through excessive use. If care is not taken, the barriers to the Abyss could break down entirely. Indeed, we have already had isolated reports from within the ZMI of strange creatures entering Gilanor from the Abyss. Not to mention the teleportation malfunction that first resulted in us gaining access to the dimension. Still, while the dangers are clear, the weakening of these barriers may prove useful if the correct care is taken. Perhaps an alternative method to proceed with operation. Transient may present itself, one that won't alert the followers of other deities to our plans. Abyssal creatures. When we've accepted that the abyss is a one, somewhat of a tesseract or hypercube with a direct relation to our dimension, then the benefits of exploiting this resource become more obvious. Certain creatures of the abyss contain unnecessary surplus organs that may be harvested to provide carrying pouches for various unstable magical objects. For example, I ran some experiments with sample XJ13 runescence and managed to place six parts in a space that would seemingly only hold one. Continued experimentation with these samples showed that moving items between our dimension and the abyss degraded the use of these pouches, but casting a simple transfiguration spell upon them while within the abyss restored their usage back to the original results. To improve our runecrafting output, I would strongly recommend the harvesting of these creatures for their organs. However, some degree of caution will be required, as the creatures of the abyss are seemingly very aggressive. We should also accelerate our efforts to locate the lost rune essence mine, as only with increased supply will these pouches see proper use. Abyssal runecrafting. As previously detailed, our gaining access to the abyss was somewhat of a fluke, and a not easily repeatable fluke at that. Due to the abyss not being a plane in the traditional sense, we have also had to resort to unusual measures to gain permanent access. We took a large number of in initiates and gave each of them the supplies to cast teleportation spells. We then had them repeatedly teleport to various locations, seeking to replicate the original error that caused the first entry into the abyss. Once one of our initiates had managed to fail his teleport and appear in the abyss, he was then charged with remaining there and holding a portal spell open so that the more senior members of the ZMI could gain entry. At the time of writing, this initiate is still there as without him the portal spell will collapse. Thanks to the slow passage of time within the abyss, he is unlikely to tire, so will not need reliving, relieving anytime soon. While originally only intended as a way for us to access the abyss, Portal spell soon proved to have been very beneficial side effects. It has also allowed us to open portals to most of the runic altars found across Gilanor. Thanks to the portals, the abyss has become a runecrafting gold mine, especially when combined with the pouches detailed previously. However, as also noted, lack of access to the lost rune essence mine is preventing us from utilizing the abyss to its full potential. One recent development of concern in this area is the sudden increase in rune production from the Order of Wizards. Could it be that they have found a way into the rune essence mine themselves? Perhaps more knowledge survived the destruction of the first wizard's tower than previously believed. This is something that requires immediate investigation. In the meantime, I have ordered our buyers to increase their purchasing of sample XJ13. Until my next report, I remain as ever a loyal servant. Strength through chaos. Okay, cool. 